It's simply a, a group of organizations who together are a part of uh, a, an agreement with a funder who says, I'm working with, you know, a hundred nonprofits as a foundation matter, for example. And as I think about these organizations, there's a critical few of them that we believe could use some extra help that they might otherwise not be able to afford with their own operating budget. But much like for-profit organizations bring in a McKinsey uh, or uh, other professional consulting organizations to help them think about how can I improve the way we operate. For us, it's exciting to build connections across organizations. The idea is that groups regularly come together um, and then begin to interact, exchange knowledge, information, share ideas, uh, and, and that kind of healthy dialogue in our mind is, like what, is, is one of the most fundamental aspects of a community of practice. There's a kind of organic um, collaboration and, and networking that emerges that make the nonprofits feel part of a community and, and help the CEOs feel less alone in their roles. Um, in terms of challenges, I guess the biggest one is that it requires some degree of letting down their guard to be in the room together and to freely exchange um, kind of all their bumps and warts, but also the positive side. We do a fairly decent job of getting executive directors to talk to each other, but not other senior staff. Like board members from different organizations never talk to one another. And so communities of practice can be these opportunities to create linkages at multiple levels within an organization. I realize that's a hard case to make a lot of times because there's not enough time and we have our own organizational priorities, but I still believe that the that the problems we're trying to solve are far too great, far too complex for any one organization alone to solve. Like, we've got to work together somehow. I've done a lot of work with peer coaching and learning, um, both professionally and also personally. Um, and I've seen the power that this work has in fostering a deeper sense of growth and learning within the community than just working one-on-one -on -one with clients. And so, it really interests me to see where we can take this idea. Like once groups are in a room together, they might say, yeah, I'm struggling with like back office and finance. Like I don't really have the staff for that. And then somebody else would say like, I have that same problem. And then a third organization might say, I have greater financial capacity. Could I potentially do that for your organizations? And once you start to get people in this place where they trust and support one another, I think there's just incredible possibilities to see greater collaboration happen. And that, and that it will take a long time. How do we get these organizations who are delivering on the ground day to day to very critical needs in communities across the country, how do we help them to do that better? How do we optimize the funders' investment in them? And how do we strengthen overall this sector that is delivering programs and services that are much needed in our communities and that may not otherwise be able to afford uh, ways to help them do their best work?